day and welcome to the news. Peter Obi's choice of Baba Ahmed, political suicide, Adeoju. Now, the news in details. As the 2023 election approaches, Deji Adeyonju, a former youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on Friday said the decision of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, to pick Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed as his running mate is a political suicide. Politics Nigeria reports that Senator Baba Ahmed who is in his 40s, is the proprietor of Bayes University, Abuja, and Baba Ahmed University, Kano. The official unveiling of the vice presidential candidate is expected to be announced today. But Adeyanju, who has been feuding with Obi's supporters, said Baba Ahmed cannot deliver something as ordinary as his local government area. It is political suicide to pick a VP candidate who cannot deliver something as ordinary as his local government area for you in a presidential election. Anyways, everyone will wake up from the social media delusion soon. Kwankaso can deliver his state and many former governors will also do well. When we criticize, we are doing so with deep understanding of Nigeria. One thing is clear now. This is nothing serious but just a social media good feeling presidency dream, Adeoju wrote on his verified Facebook page. So here we have the former youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, um, Deji Adeoju, actually giving his two cents on Peter Obi's choice of running mate. As we all know that ever since um, the PDP presidential candidate in the person of Alaji Atikwa Apubaka announced his running mate. People have been waiting for the other two most prominent um, presidential candidates to announce theirs. The um, presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress and that of the Labour Party. Well, the wait is over for those who have been waiting for the Labour Party's presidential candidate to actually announce is running mate and he has done so by actually announcing his running mate as senator yusuf dati baba ahmed and um this has actually garnered a lot a lot of um reactions on social media with a lot of people actually um just hearing the name for the first time just getting to know this politician for the first time and actually getting to know about his background. So we're actually going to um, get a brief um, review of um, Senator Yusuf Dati Baba, um, Baba Ahmed background. He's actually um, a Nigerian economist and politician who has served as Senator for Kaduna North from 2011 to 2012. And... Um, member of the House of Representatives from 2003 to 2007. And um, this, um, according to um, sources, is actually from a very prominent family in Zaria, and they are called the Baba Ahmed family. And he was said to have graduated from the University of Meduguri, and he has worked in business and banking for several years before he actually entered politics. It was also said that he actually ran for the post of president in 2019 but actually didn't make it past the pdp's presidential primaries and um then in 2022 he later um, defected to labor party where is now peter obi's running mate so um we've just had a brief um background history of peter obi's running mate in the person of senator yusuf dati baba ahmed and um Deji Adeyoju, the youth, um, former youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, actually came, um, took to his verified Facebook page to actually speak on, um, Peter choice of running mate, saying that, um, it is political suicide. He actually, um, gave his reasons why. He said, why would you pick a VP, um, a VP candidate? Who cannot actually deliver something as ordinary as his local government area. 
for you in the presidential election and he also went further to say that everyone will soon wake up from the um, social media delusion as we all know the obedient movement have been very fierce on social media Peter B is everywhere on Twitter, is everywhere on Instagram, is everywhere on Facebook. The Nigerian youth are actually um, pushing the obedience movement to the forefront of the pre um, election. So um, that is what um, Deji Adeyoju is actually touching on here. And he also spoke about someone that was actually rumored to be um, Peter B's possible running mate in the person of Kwan Kwan So. Who say, and he said that Kwan Kwan So can actually deliver states um is state to peter b and there are many other former governors who would have been able to also deliver their state if peter b should have considered them for the um position of vice president and he said that when they criticize politicians like this they are doing so with deep understanding of nigeria they are not just trying to insult these politicians they're actually doing so with the deep um, understanding of how the nigeria political system works and they said that one thing is really clear, um, clear now, and that is that nothing serious is really going on with the Peter Obi's campaign, and it's just a social media good feeling presidency dream. So, um, to what Deji Adeya just said, there's actually a truth to it. I mean, a lot of Nigerians are very, um, actually vote party. If they're not voting party, then they are voting, um, based on how popular the individual is. So um, Peter will be actually picking a seemingly unknown candidate as his vice president is something that um, could actually weigh him down in the election. And that is what um, Deji Adeyoju is talking about. And he said that there are other people who could have... Um, he could have who he could have chosen that could have done better. But then... Um, we just have to, we just have to accept the fact that a lot of these politicians who could have done better are actually um, actually don't want what is best for Nigeria. Peter Obi is trying to make a new movement, trying to do what is good best for Nigeria, looking for someone who can actually uh, match that um, ambition, match that dream of a better Nigeria, not just someone who is trying to fill his pockets. Um, uh, get into power and um, feed their family and their tenth generations to come. That is not what Peter B's movement is all about. It's trying to um, make a new Nigeria, create a new Nigeria, f a better Nigeria. And um, the truth is that anything good uh, um, doesn't come easy. And we can't keep recycling the same old politicians who have done nothing but actually to bring this country to ruins over and over again, all in the name of actually wanting to win an election. And like Peter B. R. said, it's not the um in winning the election is not a do or die affair because it's actually contesting because it wants what's best for Nigeria. And if Nigerians can't see that and decide to vote him, then it's going to gracefully um accept his defeat. So yes, I feel um the Jadeyaju is talking much more from a political standpoint of view and not basically from what is best for Nigeria. So that's it from us today, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our news channel. Thank you and God bless.